Alright, welcome back to another Dark Knight Racing video. Today, what we are going to do is we're going to paint the seat pan uh, tail cover all one piece. We're painting that today. Um, what I'm doing right now is I'm scuffing it up. Scuffing up the primer, getting it ready to paint. Uh, I got wax and grease remover right here. Sorry, wax and tar remover. And then uh, I'm going to set this up and then shoot it. Uh, I will show you when I'm using the paint it once I get it all set up outside I just want to scuff this up inside and uh, get it a little bit warm because it was sitting outside because I forgot to bring it in um, the clear coat just showed up like 15 20 minutes ago that's why I'm making a video now um, I'd like to get it painted because the temperature is supposed to drop and I don't know when it's going to come back up and I'd like this to be in color as soon as possible so um, I use a uh, green scotch bright a scotch pad uh, it should be fine it's not going to put deep enough scratches in it to make a difference you have to scuff the primer up so that the paint has something to adhere to since the, the primer is not wet if it was wet then I wouldn't need to scuff it up but uh, I'm not doing any uh, th this is how the the tail section came I'm not sanding it down and filling it or nothing like that Whatever imperfections are in this are in it. I'm not it, like it don't have to be absolutely perfect show quality look, but I want it to look good in color, decent in color. So um, that's why I'm doing it this route. Uh, I'm gonna sand this down just a little bit more. I'll do the wax and grease remover, run a tack cloth over it, set it up outside, and we'll get shooting it. All right, it's probably gonna be loud because I'm shaking the can. I got it outside, I've already used the wax and grease remover, got everything off of it, and what we're going to be using for paint, for the base color, is going to be Duplicolor Perfect Match. This is just a basic original black, uh, nothing nothing uh, spectacular as far as the base coat. I'm going to lay it down, uh, I got a rag, so that in between spraying I can uh, wipe the nozzle off so I don't get the splatter and all that. Uh, this first coat is going to be kind of a tack. Uh, uh, attack coat and then i'm gonna go heavier and then i'm just gonna keep laying it down until i got full coverage and then we'll get to the clear coat i'm gonna let it flash for probably about five maybe ten minutes in between coats so uh, i'm gonna lay this down so i got the first coat laid down about ready to put the second one on i must say i'm very disappointed in this paint um one of the nozzles my first nozzle was just dripping paint everywhere right there it got it all over the ground glad i got two cans but this was just the uh tack coat uh i'm getting ready to lay on the second one i'll lay it on a lot heavier this time and then uh we'll probably lay a couple more times to make sure we got good coverage and then we'll lay down the clear count number two All right, guys, this is the final product of it. This is three coats on it, three heavy coats. Uh, what you've seen, that spot right there, you guys seen me put that in it. You can barely, barely see it. But what I was doing is right in here, it wasn't taking the paint or for some reason it wasn't hitting that spot. So what I was doing is make sure I got coverage. Evidently, I didn't get any much paint base coat right there or no that's clear coat never mind um it laid on really good uh it does have trash in it i am outside but i could sand wet sand and buff it it's got a lot of orange peel it looks worse on camera than what it actually is because it don't look any worse than what my bike looks i might do a light wet sand on it just to get a lot of debris out of it but besides that, this is what it's going to look like. I will get a, another video once it's all dry. Probably with that on the bike. But it will stay this shiny. Good thing about this stuff is, is if you get oil or if you get gas or anything on it, it will not fill up like uh, your regular rattle can spray paint. This is a clear coat with hardener in it. It's the same thing that auto, auto body shops use. Only difference is it's in a can, not 
a gun. Um, and you do have to use a respirator. I, did, I forgot to say that. But besides that, this is what it looks like. Like I said, I'll probably do uh, light wet sanding on it once it's all dry. Get some of that trash out of it and then call it a day. Uh, that's going to be it on this video. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, and as always, have a good day.